Hello and welcome to EE 104 or CME 107. This is the course uh, Introduction to Machine Learning at Stanford University Spring 2020. My name is Sanjay Lau. I am the instructor of this class. This class was written by myself and Professor Stephen Boyd at Stanford over the past three years. Uh, we are, as you know, in the middle of uh, a coronavirus outbreak and um, as a result, much of the university is closed and many of you are working at home. Um, uh, the course is therefore going to be entirely online. All of the lectures will be pre-recorded and we will not have any live lectures, unfortunately. Uh, we are aware that many of you are uh, watching these, these lectures from a variety of different time zones and we will do our best to uh, accommodate that. Uh, we will post new lectures every Tuesday and Thursday morning and uh, we will hold office hours uh, uh, via Zoom. Uh, due to the current situation there will be no exams in this class. Uh, all classes in the School of Engineering are going to be credit and or no credit only and this class is no exception. Um, uh, but there will be homework. Uh, it will be uh, given out weekly. Uh, the homework will be about half programming and the other half will be conceptual questions, maybe a little bit of mathematics. Um, the uh, programming questions, uh, we'll be using Julia for those. Uh, Julia is a, a, a modern language which is developed primarily for numerical computing and machine learning in particular. It's very fast. It's got a very uh, nice syntax which makes it uh, very simple to write uh, sophisticated programs. You do not need to have a very sophisticated understanding of the Julia programming language. Uh, most of the coding that we will do in this class is very short scripts. We will be using the Flux machine learning package that is a, a package that sits on top of Julia. There are some prerequisites in this class, uh, in particular linear algebra. We will be using a lot of the notation of linear algebra and we will need you to uh, be familiar with things such as least squares and a basic understanding of eigenvalues and eigenvectors later in the class. Uh, we don't need anything more sophisticated than that, so any first class in linear algebra will cover enough. Similarly for programming, we do need you to be able to write code, uh, but very simple code will suffice. Well, as I said, we're going to, only going to be writing short scripts, uh, but you do need to be familiar with how to bring data in, how to generate plots, how to understand what data types are. You don't need to have any understanding of complex data structures or object-oriented programming or anything like that. Uh, probability is a co-requisite, not a prerequisite. So, uh, any basic class in probability will do. Uh, you can, uh, if you haven't taken it up until now, you can take it concurrently with the class and that's fine. We won't be using probability for the first few weeks, um, uh, but after that we will start to use the, 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 both the language and uh, the, some of the ideas and methods of probability as well. And that uh, brings me to the end of the mechanics section of uh, the class. I uh, uh, hope you enjoy EE 104.